Kelsey Nicole Nelson, and this is The Fit, keeping you up to date with the latest fashion trends with the Washington football team and around the national world. This week I caught up with Steven Sims Jr. to share his love for designer brands. Let's check it out. Steven, thank you so much for joining me here on The Fit. And to kick things off, your fashion sense says a lot about you. So tell me, what would you like the fans in Washington to know about your sense of style? Uh, I mean, I just, I like to be myself. Uh, things, I, I'm pretty simple, I feel like. I mean, I can, I can do a little extra sometimes, but I feel like I keep it pretty simple, but my simple is pretty, pretty good swag. And Louis V and Babe, you gotta tell me, why are those the two go-to designers for you? What makes them stand out? What makes Steven Simpson says, you know what? I wanna wear this, I want this in my wardrobe, I want this in my closet. Babe, uh, Babe one, I, I started on Babe when I was uh, younger, kind of like, High school, that's where I fell in love with Bape. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of people in my area where I grew up, that was like, those were the cool kids, the fly guys. They had Bape and Jordans and things like that. So, you know, I, I couldn't always afford it, but when I did finally get here and I can afford it for myself, pay for it whenever I want, I, I, I love Bape. I was I knew I'm gonna get a whole lot of Bape, a whole lot of Jordans. Uh, Louis Vuitton is kind of, it's a tough one. Last year, I kind of fell in love with Louis Vuitton. When I first got here, I just, I think they're classy, like, I feel like Gucci, Versace, I feel like they might do a lot sometimes, they might do too much, I feel like Louis V's more simple, we gonna do what we do, and that's, you know, that's how they are, I feel like, y'all, everybody gonna want our stuff, whether it's the simple or it's, you know, flashy. I'm curious, since we're in COVID, I obviously know it's harder to go to the stores, are you still kind of disappointed? online shopping too or is it harder because you know you see that the cart keep filling up and you're like oh man I thought I was only gonna get one thing does that happen to you sometimes I'm I'm that way with Jordans I, I told my I think I told my best friend the other day like I'm not I, I'm not buying any more shoes I think <laughs> I sent him a picture of Jordans yesterday so <laughs> it's like it's tough for me it's like if it, I'll fill a cart up and I'll be like man I don't need this and I'll, I'll start knocking stuff off but then I'll keep looking and I'm adding things right back into the cart so it's it's tough, but I like to shop. I like I like clothes. I like shoes. That's definitely something that I like to do in my all time of shop. And since you are a Jordan guy, I have to ask you, Steven, do you have a favorite pair of Jordans? Um, I'm. It's pretty tough. Like Jordan, that, it's tough. I love so many. I love so many. So many are my favorites. I'll tell you one thing right now. I'll see another one tomorrow and be like, oh, that's really my favorite. But. Right now, on top of my head, I'm gonna have to say Cool Gray 11s. Cool Gray, Cool Gray 11s, just because the pair that I have now is the first pair that I've ever like bought for myself, or like it was a brand new pair. Every time before this, when I got them, and when I was younger, I had to trade some for them. I had to sell one of my other shoes, some other clothes, and things like that just to get them. So this, it was, it was, it was, it was fun to finally just be like, I'm about to get a brand new pair. And I haven't worn them ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Helen, you never forget those first pair of Jordans. So while we're talking about shoes, Stephen, tell us how many how many pairs of shoes do you think you have in your entire collection? Entire collection? I want to say I'm close to 100 pairs of shoes already. Close to 100. In total shoes. Jordans alone is probably a good 60%. What's the style like from Houston? What should we know here in the DMV? I feel the DMV is pretty, I feel like it's, I'm not gonna say it's the same, but I feel like the DMV, they have style, they have swag here as well. Like when I was growing up, I listened to Wale a lot and I looked at, I, I followed Wale a lot. So I would see how he sw how he had swag and I was like, shoot, they dress just like us in a sense in DC, they be fresh too. You know, they be all about uh, their sneaker game, gotta be good, that's the same in Houston. You gotta have, your sneakers gotta be good. You gotta have good sneakers. And now I wanna take you to our buy your outfit game. So we're gonna show you a bunch of rows of designer items. You have to pick one item from each row and pick your favorite fit. So basically you're designing your fit from the options we give you. Okay. I'm gonna do the Kif shirt, the Kif Bugs Bunny shirt, the T-shirt. I like, I like, I think that's Space Jam. I, I keep saying Bugs Bunny, but I think that's Space Jam. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a Supreme, the red Supreme bag. Then I'm gonna have on the red belt with the keychain hanging. Probably put on black jeans, since I don't have any jean, a jean selection up here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wear the Supreme North Face collab on top of it. I'm gonna wear it open. The S on there really stand for Steven instead of Supreme, too. That's how I'm thinking. <laughs> 
you know, and then I'm gonna wear the, the fives, the what the fives. I, I feel like that's a good combination. You guys just saw Steven Sims pick out his very own fit here on the fit. We can't wait to see what he rocks next game day. Thank you so much for having me. Still to come, we go around the NFL to recap some of the best and boldest looks from week 10. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more of the fit after this quick break. At Honda, we take the holidays seriously. Both with serious rugged performance and serious capability. So while others might be dreaming of winter wonderlands, you could be shattering expectations with the best value of the season. Now's the best time to get into a new Honda. KBB.com's best value brand for 2020. Visit Happy Honda Days at your local Honda dealer or shop online to get a great offer on the Pilot. It's 2020, let's make a splash. Play the DC Lottery's Roaring Cash. The best team has a great sense of family. The best family has a great culture. And within that culture, there is great character. When you have all those elements come together, you've got a team. DC has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. DC's greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94.7. Blondie. The Eagle. The Drive. Welcome back to The Fit. I'm Kelsey Nicole Nelson. Now, Week 10 was filled with exciting plays on the field, but the players also brought it off the field with their pregame fits. Here are some of my favorites from the weekend. All right, Thomas Davis rocking the red. He rocked in all red everything. TD has stepped his game up to a new level this past week as the team headed to Detroit with a well-tailored suit that left everyone yes and in awe. If I had to give a best dress award for this past week, Thomas Davis, you definitely won, hands down. This week, the Boston Globe revealed the infamous designer behind Cam Newton's never-ending hat collection. He orders a new hat every week. Yeah, I know, I'm still in shock too. And in pure Cam Newton style, this week's hat choice did not disappoint. Who pressing to me? Like, it's effortless. If you're like me, you are still debating who was the best Power Ranger. And to help us settle this debate, Devontae Parker showed up to the Miami Dolphins facility in the best way possible. Yes, he wore a red Power Rangers mask. I don't know how else you could show up. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Because Joe Burrow took all us 90s babies back to our childhood with a custom SpongeBob-inspired sport coat. Burrow, one of the best-dressed men in the league and bikini bottom. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Off the feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I want to thank you so much for tuning into The Fit. I'm Kelsey Nicole Nelson. Make sure, as always, to check out all of our great unfiltered content on the team's website and our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Yeah. We've been training for the ship -a -thon because the obstacles are bigger than ever this holiday. Shop and ship early. FedEx. The best team has a great sense of family. The best family has a great culture. And within that culture, there is great character. When you have all those elements come together, you've got a team. DC has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. DC's greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94.7. Blondie. The Eagles. The Drive. It's all-wheel drive season, and your local Honda dealers are bringing the best deals of the year. It's clearance pricing during the Happy Honda Days sales event. Dash through the snow to a rugged and adventurous Honda. Check out the entire all-wheel drive truck and SUV lineup. 
CRV, HRV, Ridgeline, Pilot, and Passport, with features like Honda Sensing, Magic Folding Seats, and three different driving modes. Clearance pricing is here, but it won't last long. Don't miss clearance pricing at the Happy Honda Day sales event, now at your local Honda dealer.